Good morning, world. It's Josh here. <laughs> Don't mind my rugged outdoor look here. It's freezing cold outside. I have to stay warm. Um, for those of you who aren't aware of this, and I've spoken in, in the past about Venus, and I, I, I don't really like to bring astrology and astrotheology and astronomy into my my videos very often because it seems like there's quite a wide a wide variety of um, interpretations for these things. Celestial events, you know, as above, so below. And so I choose to kind of just leave that one on the table because it's um, it's very open to interpretation. All the symbolism, we know this, but there's one thing in particular I've mentioned in the past that uh, one of the planets, you know, I, I was talking about Venus a while back and um, the I was just out there, I, I just got to work at 6.30 a.m. here in Portland, at 6.45, and uh, the Venus is the morning star right now, and what happens is, for those who don't know, and this is kind of interesting, Venus, of course, follows the orbit of the Sun, uh, or orbits the Sun inside the Earth's orbit, so therefore, depending on where its position is relative to the Earth, sometimes it will be seen as the morning star. Sometimes it will be seen as the evening star. So right after sunset, you might see a really bright star in the sky. That's usually Venus. And in the morning, just before sunrise, you'll see the same thing. And um, the ancient Greeks had different names for these, and they believed they were actually separate entities. They believed that the morning star was called Phosphorus, and they called the evening star Hesperus. This is where we get Phosphorus, the light. Uh, the, uh, the idea of the things that are phosphorescent glow. And um, I just find it really interesting to think about the ancient times when people didn't know that, that uh, you know, it was one planet, that they really believed that it was an, a, a body that was, you know, traveling across the uh, sky. Who knows what different people thought about it, but I imagine very few people believed that it was really a planet orbiting. But um, it's fascinating. It's the most beautiful brightest thing in the sky. And in fact, uh, about a month ago we had like the most, the brightest evening star um, that we've had in a really long time, I guess. It has to do with the positioning of the Earth and the um, temperature of Venus itself. But um, it's a really fascinating uh, thing, you know, to, to see. That. And this is where Lucifer was derived from. You know, the whole idea of Lucifer was pulled out of, out of this ancient myth about Phosphorus and Hesperus. And um, because the Morning Star is also known as Lucifer. So, you know, take from it what you will, but um, it's really beautiful. If you happen to get a chance and you get up in the morning in the next day or two, you can get out there and see it. If you get up as early as I do, you might enjoy it, but uh, I don't get up this early unless I have to. <laughs> so I hope everybody's doing well and um, peace out.